boat look a little bit uh, brighter rather than that gluey yuck mess like the rest of the roof. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well and some of it is absolute sheer craziness but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hey guys, we're going to try and stand up the boat with a high ab. Um, they're just doing the straps at the minute. Let's come to get the GoPro. Well, I'm not going to film this all the whole messing around, but when I'm ready to lift, I'll put the camera somewhere and I'll try and capture us somehow trying to write it. We'll see. Oh, that's pretty stupid. Oh, And there she be. Bit of a bum twitcher. Only real damage apart from like scuffs to the gel coat is here where it looks like the bulkhead has sort of been forced through so that's gonna need addressing. Hey guys, after all that excitement, back to the real world. Just turned Fox Lady into what looks like a murder scene. Um, so everything's all covered up. Got stuff draped over it. Protecting my nice new fuse board in there. Um, I've just pumped up my tender. So a little bit of avoidance. Covered up all down there. And anything electrical or fancy I've put behind cushions, pulled cu pull cushions, curtains, pulled curtains across. I mean, I'm going to be hoovering while I'm doing what I'm doing, so it's not, I'm not going to make a horrendous mess, but to eliminate what I can, prevention's better than the cure. Um, yeah, so I just pumped the tender up. Sam's had a bit of a shit time recently, so we're going to go for a little row. <laughs> Might turn a bit shit out, it's, it's blowing about 15 knots out there. We're going to be in a little little dinghy with me, me, me rowing with oars. But if she wants to, I'll put the GoPro on. I think we should have a little float around just to just to get off land for a little while. Uh, and when I get back, probably have a cup of coffee. Um, she'll go home, and I will start the cutting. I've gone to the effort now of doing all this. I'm in two minds, like this bit here. Rather than blunting my multi-tool blades, I've got one mil cutting discs uh, underneath that blanket over there. I might just get an angle grinder, just zoop, buzz it off, respirator on, buzz it out, buzz it out, save the messing around, just get it ground off, 
and then do the finishing and fettling for the multi-tool. I think that make more sense, now I can make the mess. Ultimately I'm going to be angle grinding, getting all this glue off, and it does go absolutely everywhere when I do it, so no point messing around. I want to go all the way, sort of, I think the board comes to about here, but I'll clean up to about this line here, all the way down, down to as far as I can get to the window without hitting these nuts. Um, it's only so I can get the ceiling panels up and then when the windows come out in the summer, they'll all get redone and treated as per that one and the other ones. Same with that side. So I'm going to do exactly the same with that side, scrub the ceilings down, down to the uh, curtain rail, just so I can get the, cur the, just so I can get the, the roof panels up. <sighs> all the joys. Right, so I'm going to just doodle around now. I'll get them cutting discs out in case I do use them. Just waiting for Sam to get here. Um, the tender's in the water, so I'll see. I pumped it about half an hour ago and just rode it round into one of the one of the mooring spots and get out there and probably find it's deflated. But uh, yeah, I'll see you out there. Hey guys, some of you may have noticed I'm quite impatient, so I've still not seen Sam yet. She was at the dentist, so. Yeah, I'm going to crack on until she gets here, so I'm going to mask up, have a little grind, have a little hoover, and uh, see how it goes. I may put some music over the top, if it uh, sounds terrible to play back. I did have a hat somewhere. Oh, in my pocket. So you're getting fibre glass out of my hair. And my ears. Beautiful. Okay. Let's have a go at this. I have fell victim to snatching angle grinders more than once. Uh, I've got scars to prove it, so I am very conscious of where it is and if it kicks back, um, I might get myself in a better stance in the future. But I'm just gonna see if I can knock this bit of glass off. I'll trim that a little bit there, see if this bit of glass will come off, get the core out, and then see what's above that. I think my chisel's on snow goose, so the next best thing.
simple as that. So, to be fair, I think that was the easy bit. Nice blankie out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is use that line as a guide and I'll just continue up through and um, wherever that exits through there will be, uh, be where it goes. I'd rather have two hands on the angle grinder, um, one holding a hoover. I might try and clutch the hoover under my arm or do, or tape the hoover to my grinder. That could work. Hmm. I'm going to tune back in in a minute and we'll see if I can tape it. Hey guys, I don't really watch telly, but is it Dragon's Den that do the ideas? Yeah. Technically, I know that when you buy tools, they come with little attachments to uh, attach hoovers. I had to go straight in the bin. Get a bit of blue tape, and that should, well, should suck some of it. It's not, it's not exact line of sight, but it will sort of hopefully have enough pull that when I'm going to run along there, it will suck most of it up. So I'm gonna mask up, get the hoover running, and uh, give it a whirl.
Hey guys, got a super flat battery. I did come out for a little though. I just found this up the river. But no idea what it is. Anyone know? It looks like a maybe a modified Cadillac. From the front I thought it was now as the cat, but the shape of the, the holes there and the way it steps down. I have no idea what it is. If anyone knows then uh, let us know. <laughs> hey guys, so that last little bit on the boat rinsed my battery, but we had a nice little little paddle up the river and back. So I was gonna sort of hoover and clean as I went, but um that didn't work out. The hoover couldn't keep up with what I was producing. I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, but it is an absolute mess. This this is gonna be hours of cleaning tomorrow. And yeah, that hoover's gonna be earning its money tomorrow. I can't deal with it now. Um I've got dinner soon. I need to go and have a shower and get out of here. I hate leaving the boat in this state, but there is literally nothing I can do in the time I've got. On a plus note though, look at that, she's all clean. And I've scuffed up all down here, got it all nice, apart from just beyond where the tap is. I was supposed to take the glob screw out and take the tap head off, completely forgot, but that'll be a, a tomorrow problem now. Absolute state. So up here, I've finished with the, uh, the cutting disc and then after I've done with the cutting disc, I've got the grinding wheel um, and just give it a bit of a grind down. And that should be something now that I can work on on rebuilding um, and making making pretty. Same here, I just ground down. It's all flush-ish. Still a little bit of work here and there needs doing. But... The bulk of it is done and good. So I need to fill in down here with the uh, insulating foam that's set under the boat and now crushed a bit, but I'm gonna cut that up, get that in there, fill all these voids, thick an epoxy spread across there, get this built up nice and get this area sort of looking, it's looking better already. I know it's absolutely covered in rubbish everywhere, but it is looking better. Oh. And then the ceiling up here doesn't look as good as the other side. And the stuff that's on there is just where it's spread, I think. But I'll give it another going over tomorrow in daylight. It's a lot easier in daylight. Looks like there's a few little bits that still need addressing up there. But I've got the bulk of it done. Um, actually, you know what? I'm here now. I'm covered in sand I'm, sand and dust. I might just give this another quick a dressing now and just get this a little bit better there's still a fair bit of glue on there it needs to come off yeah Ooh. oh why just all open oh. um yeah so i'm gonna re-put my mask on just give this a little going over just get it a little bit nicer um and then it then i've got then it's got tonight to do it settling and then i'll do me a big, a big clean up tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dress that now um, and then sort my life out and I'll see you in the morning for a massive clean up. But that's two big, nasty jobs that I've been putting off for, for about a year really. Um, and it's done now. The state of the boat now is why I've been putting it off, but <laughs> tomorrow problem. And then by the end of the week, it will be all be done, and I can do painting, and I can get seal, uh, insulation and ceilings up, and it'll all be worth it in the end. All right, I'm gonna go and sort my life. I'll do that, and then sort my life out, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers, guys. Morning, guys. Six o'clock this morning. I got here. It's now ten to nine. All I've done since I've been here is Hoover. I have Hoovered up so much dust so yesterday i had that little snippet and then sort of disappeared when i was looking at that other cat which is beautiful by the way it's really nice lines don't know what it is hopefully one of you guys do um, um so i got back and sam went home to start doing dinner 
And I said, I'll pop around and see her later on. And I was like, the grind is here, everything's here. Let's just do it. And it just turned into absolute carnage. So I've got a little video snip somewhere of the state of the boat. Hopefully it's before this. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick zoom around now. But up here is now ready to paint. Well, I'm gonna go around and do my finalised little bits and there's little bits in the corner here that might do a bit of manual scrape. Um, just so I can get that in primer. Um, and same on the other side. Just started raining quite bad out there. Do, do, do. So, uh, all sanded down. Again, just little bits in corners. I might need to spend a bit of time getting amongst. But on these corner pieces, I'm still not sure about this tabbing. The tab in here has definitely come away. Same as the other side, you know, this old, old um, polyester tabbing is not too, not too great. So I'm a bit dubious about painting this. I think I'd rather get it off. I think this, this bulkhead is, and the tabbing might need looking at. It's not a, it's not a showstopper. I mean, it's, it's doing its job, but it's just, before I go firm on this side, I think this does need looking at. But for now, this, is, this, will be, this side's gonna be a future problem. Um, for now, I'll paint it, and then it's just in the back of my mind that when I come down to sort out the floors, sort out the walls, sort out this, you know, that's, that needs doing. Um, but the important bit that I really wanted to get done is here. So last night, you see me doing the cutting with the uh, the cutting disc. I then done some grinding with a grinding disc. And then when I had my flappy 40 grit on, sorting out the ceilings, um, I then run it, I it literally for a few seconds, I just run it over here to give it a good scuff up. And it's got a really nice finish. So what I need to do is, in the very near future, not like now, is dig about five mil of this core out, just do a chisel, just tap, gently tap it out, and then just smear the whole lot in thickened epoxy, shape it. I've probably got to do a little bit of messing around, shaping, fairing, making it, pretty enough that I can then get it painted up and get all the way around here cleaned up painted up ready for the roof panels and trim now the existing trim is like a hardwood look nice but it's like a shaped hardwood with a lip on it I'm on decide whether to refit that or whether to have some sort of high density rubber that could act as a bit of a bump stop, stop people banging their heads when they stand up and sit down or whatever. Just a thought, you know, I'll put, I'll put the ceiling panels up and see how it goes, but I'm thinking even maybe something like the, the rubber, rubber, the plastic wood that's underneath might, might be nicer on the head. But I really can't remember what the trim was like, so I'll get it up at some point in the near future and we'll have a look at it and see what it's house how friendly it'll be to the top of people's heads. If it's I deem it to be not very nice, then I will look at some sort of high density rubber that I can shape, um, route out, and then, and then fit onto them. But that is very much a future problem. Now, I'm dealing with a now problem. So, yesterday when I left off, I'd fitted these in and there's some sort of like little bridge across there to, to pin the cables up. Um, because of the day yesterday went, I just, I didn't get around to that. So I'm probably gonna pop to Wix in a little while and try and find something to span across there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop out and do it in a little while. But what I'm gonna do first, I'll try a cup of coffee because although I've been wearing a face mask and everything, I'm still, <laughs> Still quite dusty in there. Um, before I disappear out, I'm gonna get some primer on these roof panels, just on these little little quarter bits here on both sides. Um, just so if it needs a second coat of primer, then I will. And then I'll get the uh, the 2K on 
and then I can start looking at getting the ceiling panels up in and around here. I know I'm quite limited when I'm working with this, and that's not going to take me very long. I may get on with that today, because uh, that is semi, it's not structural, but it's something I'd like to get done. I think it'll look nice and get the foam tucked up in the voids that are down there. But again, that's, that's all stuff that I can get on with while the ceiling piece is drying. Now I'm, now I'm saying it out loud, I'm thinking maybe I should paint this and that together. But that is going to be, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me have a think. <coughs> it's quite healthy, so coughing dust off my hand. Um, mm -hmm. Let me have a think. I may well get the 2K up, the, sorry, the 1K epoxy primer up there just so that bit's done. But. I'm not, it's only a paintbrush, and a paintbrush cost me like 30, 40p or something. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the primer up there now, and then start getting on with everything else. <laughs> I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, so um, also I was just chatting about the, the state of this tabbing here, and it was always gonna be a, a later problem. I think now, the route I'm gonna go down is I've cleaned this up, you know, happy days, that's, you know, good, that's ready. But none of this is ready. Nothing else here is ready. So I'm just gonna, well, I've done it, and it was crap doing it last night. It, it's, you know, it's done. And I'm gonna neglect that now. Um, so I was just scraping, having to clean up, you know, scraping back all the, all the bad, um, the bits I couldn't get to the angle grinder. And as I was scraping, I hit a little sticky out bit, and I thought, oh, what's gonna. And then I slight my scraper went under it, and that goes all the way back. So that tabbing needs doing, and it needs doing, you know, sooner rather than later. I may knock it off today. Um, it could be, uh, you know, tomorrow, next day, whatever job. It's not an, an immediate, immediate rush, but. That needs to at least get sorted out. Um, so what I'll do, I'm going to sort this one out. Sort this one actually doesn't look too bad, but I'll, I'll have a good go at it. See if it does need to come off and be epoxy and done properly. There's bits around here where there's a gap, where it's obviously delaminated from the wood. I haven't actually looked in here yet. <clears throat> yeah, inside here looks alright. So I've not painted this, this is original you know, paint from back, you know, whenever. Um, and there's no cracks, there's no delamination anywhere. That all looks quite good. And that includes ceiling area as well. It's just out here is a little bit, hmm, I'm not sure. I might have to give it, give it a little little go at that. I, I mean, it was just a minute ago and I couldn't, I couldn't get any, um, anything moving on there. That might be alright. Actually now I'm talking rubbish. It might be alright, it might look alright, but I don't care, I'm gonna epoxy that anyway. Uh, and this one is definitely gonna get ripped out and epoxied. I say maybe not today. Could could become today though. But um in, in the very near future that's gonna get done. I've got some other bits to do, um, like the floor pan down on the on the port side. There's bits on the floor there that where the the uh, the sole meets the hull. I want to I want to epoxy that and tab it all in. Because at the minute it's just like thick in epoxy and that can chip. It's got no real strength in it. It's good for bonding, but actual sort of materials in there. So yeah, this is foamy me a little bit. So I really want to get this tabbing out. Cause now I've identified that bit there. It's made me really question a lot, but. No, I'm going to stick to plan, plan A for a minute, and that is where I started, and I'm going to get over there, that roof bit painted, um, and then start chiseling the way up here, and then switch fire onto here. Well, maybe when I've chiseled it out, and there's, there's some epoxy spread up there, and I'm, I've got wet paint there, wet epoxy up there, 
I might come and come down and get a bit uh, trigger happy with a chisel down here and get this all knocked off. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, so I've slapped some primer up there. Now it's special, but it does make the boat look a little bit uh, brighter rather than that gluey yuck mess like the rest of the roof. So when the roof panels are up, then it'll be, uh, yeah, look a little bit prettier. I'm just gotta sort out this bit now. And in there, but that's a, uh, no, that's coming soon. So I've got to build furniture and stuff in here still and fully decide what the hell I'm doing in there. Um, what else have I done? Nothing special, no, no groundbreaking specialist techniques. A screwdriver and a hammer. And I've just chased out, like I say, five, six mil of the balsa through there on both sides. Uh, and what I'm gonna do in a minute, I'm not gonna film it because so I'm gonna mask up and get it done as quick as I can and get out of here because that private stinks. It's only 1K, but it's still a bit, whoo. Um, I'm gonna quickly, yeah, I'm gonna mask up. I'm gonna mix some uh, thickened epoxy and just to fill these, fill these voids. I know I still need to do the foam down here and the thickened epoxy there. I may do that later today. Um, I might get on with the them um, tabs. Undecided yet. But um, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna fill these voids so I can get the ceiling panels here nipped and done. Well, for this side especially. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, get my mask on before I pass out and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys quick snippet before I get the hell out of here um done well done's a bit of a bold statement but that particular part <laughs> is done so it's all uh epoxied up and I can I'm gonna hopefully later on fill the voids down the back here get some of that epoxied in so I can sort of paint that whole piece as a one um, but like I said many times now in the last half hour is that now I've identified that tab in I'm going to switch fire onto that a little bit uh, I'm just going to put some washing on I'm going to have a cup of coffee and get out of these fumes and dust for a little while um, and I'll decide what I'm going to do when I come back hey guys so I've been fiddling around screwing little clips and bits and pieces up I've just found this in Wix, £1.45 or 35 for two metres, like the little plastic management, cable management thing. Um, it's quite hard for me to show you, sort of, to do it and film, but I can basically tuck it underneath the wood. So it sort of tucks underneath and it will hold all the cables in, and all I've got to do is screw up that edge here and that'll be that'll be pretty amazeballs um, the sun's come out outside it's, it's days one well, well it's the time of year but it's just crazy at the minute so what I'm gonna do is instead of messing around inside while well, it's still a little bit stinky uh, I'm gonna nip out I'll plug that light now and the sun's out I'll nip outside and have a look at the uh, the rudder system. So, I mentioned it before on the rudder as well. I want to put everything on sort of spacers and pack it and make everything less less clunky. Um, and if I just quickly show you this. So these little arms. That, that sits on the steering arm and this bit pivots on the rudder so that it goes backwards and forwards and that should pivot as it does so it obviously it wasn't before it was rusted solid um so i want to make sure i'm going to ream it out again now with a drill bit make sure it's all nice and shiny give it a good clean up and nut and bolt it with um nylocks so i can adjust how tight or loose it is and I'm going to put some nylon washers top and bottom just to aid it in its, its turning basically. That's the plan for that. 
Uh, and then once it's all done, so I'm gonna clean it all up and then I'll get some marine grease, sort of smother the joint in marine grease to stop any future water ingress or anything that's gonna hinder its operation basically. So I'm gonna just clean these up now. I'm not gonna film me cleaning them, I'll get a bit scotch bright, give them a good clean up. Um I'll jump down on the rudders, give them a quick quick check over. And I've got various boxes from Halfords of selections of nylon washers. I'll get the white size nylons on there, get her bolted up and try and get the rudders connected. Just so I can have a little play, make sure they're centered, um, i.e. both facing the, the right way, the same way at the same time. And yeah, once I'm happy that I've got the operation, it's all good and I'm happy there's, there's enough left and right and I haven't got to take any more glass out of the uh, the apertures. I can then nip everything, all the nuts and bolts up on that bottom piece. Nip, yeah, tight, tighten the whole rudder system up basically and make it make it hot to trot, good to go. And hopefully, like I, said, like I mentioned before, it should be a little bit lighter, um, which might help the auto helm. But that's another day. That's, an, that's a whole different thing looking at that auto helm thing. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get on with that and I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, as per usual, I haven't touched the rudders. I've done what I was gonna say. I've got on with this. <laughs> but I'm well happy with that. That presses down quite nicely up there. Um, it does all squish down so it will go underneath the ceiling panel. And otherwise it's all one in line. It's got little bulges and pieces that I could just get in there with a screwdriver straighten the wires out but you know what that's not going to affect the ceiling so i don't really care and that's come through there quite nicely all managed um so i can run an insulation piece down there and do the rest of the uh all that up there not so much over there yet because i still want to do that tabbing but i have got some insulation you probably see it for the window there little foil roll and when I went out to buy this ducting, I um, picked up some contact adhesive. So that'll be a probably last thing tonight because that stuff stinks. So I need to be off the boat. Um, I'm not picking up Sam till about seven o'clock tonight, so I'm from train station. So it'll be you know sort of one of the last things I do before I go and have a shower and then get out of here because yeah. I couldn't sleep on here or even do or operate on here with that stuff on it because it is it is horrendous. So yeah, later on, hopefully, hopefully later today, I'll get everything all covered up again. Not for the dust this time, for for the drippy glue. I'll get the glue rolled on up there. Get the glue put on the uh, the foil material. Slap it on, um, and then yeah, I'm fifty percent insulated. I've just got to put the ceiling panels up and cut them and do all my, my magical things I've got to do. But that's a one, I'm really happy with that. That's, that's a real thing off my list to get done. I've got another wire to run down here. I think I'm thinking of getting a smaller channel. If not, I've got enough off cuts here that I can just run another couple of wires around for the, uh, the lighting here. So like I say, the, 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 white, the lights I'm going to have here will be on a switch. So it'll be a, a live and a negative feed coming all the way down here and that'll feed one, two, one in my room, one in the girls room, all coming off that same wire. So when the fuse on the fuse board for, I don't know, main cabin lights or something, switch that on, all four of them will be live, ready to be operated at the switch. I just want to simplify it. So I will have other things on the boat. You know, when you step in, I might have some sort of light switch up there that then turns on something up here. You know, it's, that's a future problem. My problem at the minute is what needs to go under this ceiling panel so I can get the ceiling up. Anyway, I'm now gonna go back to the original plan and mess around with the rudders. So I'll, uh, I'll see you out there. Hey guys, rebuilding a boat isn't fun at the best of times, but reference two minutes ago when the sun was shining, it's just gone to howling winds and hailstone so rebuilding a boat in february is definitely not fun 
and rebuilt on a boat in England in February is horrendous. I really should have bought Fox Lady or something. I should have got like, like an accident damage one in the Caribbean or something and been complained about how hot it was. Not <laughs> waiting for the hailstorms to blow over. I don't know if you can see it, my windows are so dirty. But that is absolutely howling down. And that's just come from nowhere. It was a nice day, sunny. I was out there in a t shirt. And it's just result has gone to that in seconds. Uh, well hopefully it disappears as quickly as it came so I'm pretty much been forced into maybe it's mother nature telling me to get on with doing that uh, the tabbing on that bulkhead so stop messing around with rudders and get that done so I think I'm going to start chiselling that off now while I've got a mess in the boat um, make a bit more of a mess just want to quickly show you before I get dressed properly and sort my tools out the rudder, I haven't cleaned them up yet. I've just found a nylon washer. So I've got A4 stainless bolts. So that a bolt to the uh, the rudder arm. Like so. And then the, the steering rod will come into here. And that'll be clamped up firmly, but not too tight. So everything everything can twist and maneuver and be nice. Um, it's all A4 stainless with nylon washers to aid it in, in, its, in its turning. And obviously, like I say, when it's nice, I'll get outside, I'll give all this a good clean up, put it together, and then smear it in marine grease to keep it running nice and smoothly. Not too bad, not too bad. Right, I'm going to get my tools together, put a jump on, I'm going to get fiberglassy, and uh, get chiselling. So I'll see you in a second. Have a little dance, so I'm going to... I'm going to put my music back on rather than filming in silence like some sort of a detention centre. Um, so I'll get the camera going, I'll put you on a musicy thingy and if there's anything relevant I'll put text over the top or speak over the top or whatever it is. Uh, when I'm doing my voiceovers it's like I've got a, oh, it's a bit of a pain so I need to like plug my phone in. I need to do it on my phone and then send it to a laptop because my laptop's microphone's not working. Uh, it's a real job. So if I need to, obviously I'll do it because it's going to help you guys out understand what I'm up to. But I do try and avoid it. So anyway, I'm going to get the camera going and uh, there'll probably be some music rather than me waffling. Charles. Hey guys, so I think that was about six minutes that took me to do that. <laughs> and there's still some glass on the ceiling here. I don't, I'm not even sure if there's tab in there. It seemed like a really small return. That this is full of old, very brittle polyester. So I'm gonna chisel that out. Get some nice thick and epoxy in there. Um, here is all loose, but I need to trim this. So I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is get my multi-tool in a second and just go, vroom, just cut that bit off. Get that whole corner piece out. Um, then I'll give all a good clean up and yeah get ready to tab them up now yeah, people people pay a lot of money for this it's easy right i'm gonna um what am i gonna do find multi tools find bits and pieces uh find a dust mask because i'm gonna be doing a bit of bit of uh, agitation where it's gonna be dust and stuff um yeah and i'll my change of batteries is about to die and i'll uh it may be next time i tune on it'll be a bit of music again while I'm getting on with it and having a little dance. All right, speak in a bit. Oh. Hey guys, so I'll get in a little bit closer. So there's quite a big void around here. It looks like the tabbing on the other side. I mean, the tabbing on the other side looks all right. And it obviously is all right, it's just this side isn't. Um, so that's all quite 
this is just, just seems like this side has had a bit of a I don't know I don't know but either way I'm going to uh, clean this out thicken epoxy um, and then tab I've already said that I'm just repeating myself but I just wanted to uh, show you what I found down here side's pretty knackered as well oh man right I'm gonna do this side first thicken epoxy tab it all in and then that side I'll deal with when I'm doing that side um, might be in the very very near future it might be a little bit down the line when I say down the line I'm talking weeks not forever but um, yeah so I'm gonna finish cleaning this one up and I'm going to look at how well this one's held on and start attacking this. Obviously, I rehung some curtains very recently, and I'm now going to have to cut the rails off to get the tabbing out. But it happens. It needs to get done properly. I need to get this all tabbed in nicely. So I'm not going to moan about it. I'm just going to get on with it. And uh, yeah. I'll tune back in in a minute. So I'm really glad I spent uh, what just over three hours cleaning up this morning. Still, boat's not particularly clean, but since I've cleaned up, I've chiselled wood everywhere, um, and I've now chiselled fiberglass everywhere, including probably down the back of my neck and yeah, everywhere. Oh, lovely. Ooh. Um, 
So it's all cleaned back now. It's back to the original coach roof. Uh, I've, I've run a grinder over it. Not a grinder. Um, a 40 grit on the back of my multi-tool there. Just to give it a nice girth. Oh, a little bit down there. I'll, I'll do that by hand actually. So I'll grind this a little bit. It's quite hard to get. I know I'll get my tool getting there. I'll give it a little dig out in a minute. Um, and then what I'm going to do after that is clean up. <laughs> There's glass everywhere, all up here. My was not 95% clean boat is now dusty. All the bits are hoovered, now covered in dust. So I'm going to undust the boat. Uh, once I've done with that, give this a good wipe over with acetone and then actually what i'll do then is i'll cut the material so i'll cut the material ready i'll probably use combination matting to, to to put into there once i've cut the material thicken epoxy splooge in there get a nice fillet give it a little while actually once i've done the filleting i'll probably then because the sun's back out again now i'll pop back outside uh do a little bit of work on the rudders so that'd be an hour or so and i'll come back in here do the tabbing um and yeah and i should be know that i've achieved a fair bit today and then on to the next job so <laughs> that's the plan so i don't need to film myself hoovering and messing around so it's gonna take me a good half an hour or so uh, once i've done all that and i've wiped everything down i'll probably show you the thick and epoxy being in I'm not, I'm not going to show you how to, I'm going to get a lolly stick and just splooge it in there. But when I splooge it in, I'm going to make sure I fill all the voids. So here, anything that is loose I've chiselled out and things that look like, like there, you can see that, looks like it's going to soon become loose. I'm going to hook that out of a screwdriver. I smashed out all the stuff that is near like the big gap. So I'm just going to splooge in a nice lot of thick and epoxy, get it right the way in there, followed by a fillet then the yeah but i'll show you when this uh when it's either done or underway i'm now gonna pick up the big bits and spend the next half an hour or so hoovering again all right speak to a bit hey guys apologies i got sucked into uh working on the rudders and completely forgot that i hadn't done this so i took a fair bit of epoxy to backfill all that um, so I'm going to give it, it's starting to sag a little bit there, and that is fine, because I'll push it all back in when I when I do the, the tabbing. So there's a bit of a gap there, there's about a 30mm gap, and the reason for that is when I put my window surrounding, you know, I don't want to be tabbing, putting it on top of the tabbing so that uh, the window seal will be epoxied in, so that bit doesn't need tabbing up. And I've done exactly the same here. Left that gap there for the windowsill. Um, da -da 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 -da, all down there. And the glass is down there, down there. Cut to size. Uh, so I'm now going to go and mess with the rudders. And then I'll come back in and do the tabbing. So I'll see you out there. I'm just going to get some tools together, some drills, some bits and pieces. And we'll get the rudders connected up. I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, welcome back to one of my dungeons. So uh, this is um, red oxided. I know Blue Dogs, Blue Dog was with us at, um, you know, about inhibiting. It's not stainless steel if it's painted, but this bit wasn't stainless. I don't know why some sort of welding is going on in like, I think that's gone into some sort of stainless box section. Um, but this was normal mild steel or some form of steel that rusted a lot. So I sanded it back down, red oxided it. Um, there's a bit of paint in there, so I'm going to ream it back out with a, uh, a 10 mil drill bit. And somewhere around here, I've got some nuts and bolts. Hopefully, down there. A4 stainless nuts and bolts. Um, this is A4 stainless, but it's threaded all the way through. I wasn't that keen on that, I'd rather have a shank so it's a smooth edge. But ultimately, this doesn't really do that. It just goes backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So there's no real chafe or rub from, from that. So should be all right. 
So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the, the, the camera down so I can run my drill bit through this uh, and get it bolted together with a bit of grease. You know that like, the rest of the rider system is still quite loose outside. Um, I just want to get in here right and make sure everything's all as it should be. Uh, I've got enough steerage and it's not fouling too much on these corners before I go firm or anything. So if I, if I need, I can pretty much unscrew everything by hand, remove the rudders and work on these if I need to. No material come out of there, just rust and paint. Beautiful. Right, I am going to grease this one up. This one isn't yet, but this one that's going in now is going to be staying in. So I'm going to chuck a bit of a bit of green white grease on there. Oh, this stuff stinks. Epoxy wind man. Oh no, the little clips got stuck. I'm after ring some oh my phone's outside. Oh shit. I don't want to break out of here, I think. Right, sorry guys. Um bit of an emergency. I'm stuck in my locker. <laughs> you can't make this up, can you? Let me uh let me kick the locker lid open so I can actually get out of here. Or if not, I'd be calling for help. Hey guys, I, uh, <laughs> luckily my phone was in my pocket. Uh, I was going to leave it up top, but I must have just put it in my pocket as I come down. Um, my friend Jonathan, the Commodore, still at the club, so I've just messaged him to come and <laughs> come and let me out, so I don't have to do any damage to actually get out of here. Lesson learned: put something in there in case a gust of wind comes comes along. <sighs> Good times. I'll speak to you in a minute when I've got some light back in here. Hey guys, <laughs> that was a close one. Jonathan, come let me out. I've now tied the locker door open. I won't make that mistake again. Um, so I've just carried on in here while I was sat in the dark. I've done a bit of greasing. Um, and well, I, I drilled this out before because there's a little self tapper. I need to find a long enough screw, bolt, something to go through there. The trouble is now, after my little locking incident, time's starting to get on. So I'm going to pop back into the boat and get that tab in on. So I'll see you in there in a minute. Hey guys, so all the excitement of getting myself locked out. <laughs> I forgot to turn the camera on when I was doing the tabbing, but it's nothing special. It's purely a case of wet it out on my bit of black plastic and uh, bung it up. So it's only up there quite, it's reasonably roughly at the minute. I'm now going to cut some peel ply just to rest over it and I can squeeze it all down and make it all nice and then uh, come tomorrow, peel it off and give it a bit of sand in and give it a good inspection. Just realised tuning in now is a little bit, looks a little bit dry up there so I'm going to slap a little bit more on. So I've still got some in the, some in the pot there. Uh, I'll cut the peel ply and I'll, uh, I'll tune back in when, when she's peel plied up. Okay, so that's the peel ply on. Sort of smoothing it down nicely. Um, for those that haven't done epoxy in before, that takes the blush off the epoxy as well, so it'll be ready to paint. I'll still sand the edges down a lot to make it all nice and sort of try and make it disappear a little bit. But yeah, so I look forward to taking that off tomorrow. So a quick impromptu job, <laughs> but obviously needed doing. Uh, while I had the thick and epoxy, I just filled the holes here from the old fitting stuff that were on this bulkhead and gave that another smooth over where the where the dodgy bit was and I dug out. Obviously I, I, pre, I know that when it comes to down here and me digging all this out, I'd have to re-tab re all that. But for now, for what I'm doing with at the minute, you know, that's, I'm pretty happy with that. So I let her go off, uh, say tomorrow, I'll be able to put the, the limps back up and then that's no longer hindering me putting 
insulation and ceiling panels up. I'm still looking at, I don't know if my nose and my head can handle it at the minute. But if the weather stays like this, I'd still like to, sort of the last thing is glue up the insulation panels. I haven't cut them yet. Uh, I only got the clip glue out of the truck, but the roll of it is sat there ready to be measured, cut and glued. Uh, we'll see if that happens or not. So I want to get on with now is getting back to the rudders. So I, I just need to ha little hunt around the boat and try and find the right size sort of a uh, little nut to hold the angle sensor on with. I don't know what I've got, so bear with me. I'll have a little hunt around, I'll find something and I'll tune back in down below to get it all connected up. Uh, I also need to head down to Snow Goose and get my tools because my, my little toolbox that I use is uh, down on a boat from when I was doing this when I'm doing a cylinder head. So I need to go get that. Um, and then I'll come back up, get on, I'll tune in and then we'll go from there. Alright, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, so that's connected up. Uh, long story short, I can't find any screws this size to go through here. So it's just got a screw in there to stop it running away. But obviously I'm going to have to undo that once I've done my little test. So I'm going to do exactly the same the other side. Nip, 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 nip. Um, cover it in grease. Move the ladder out of the way and we'll see how she rolls. So I'll tune back in once I've got the other one bolted up. Obviously the other one hasn't got the steering sensor so it'll be nice and short and sharp. Okay, it's all connected up. Move some rubbish out of the way. It's hard over. Feels nice. Although, I wouldn't say light. Give it a little um, spin back and forth. I've greased up the steering cables. I don't think um, the state of this steering is quite in here. I want to change this, I'm not happy about that. So that's on the to do list. I mean, obviously, I don't want the steering so light that it will just like spin freely on its own. If I wanted that, I'd have to go hydraulic, I guess. But Right, so it locked a lot. One, two, two and a half. The two and a half turns is locked to lock. Should be in the middle. Let's see. Well, middle-ish. Uh, might need to do a little bit of fine-tuning and adjusting, but for now, it's plenty good enough. And although, you know, it's not, it's not light. It doesn't spin. There's also not any grinching, graunching, any high spots, hard spots. It's all quite... Yeah. So hard over. That probably is stopping on the 
know. It's not even stopped up there. Take the other side. No, it's not stopped on the glass. Let's go the other way. Okay, that's hard over. Uh, no, it's not stopped on the glass. Not on the glass either. That's a nice little result. I now know I can just nip everything up and get it put to bed already. Uh, I know I've got that little screw on the other side to replace. And that is the steering system done. Give or take a little bit of uh, fine tuning. Happy with that? Happy days. Hey guys, <clears throat> I found uh, a nice, uh, less stinky more health beneficial probably not as good but what i was anticipating of using the uh the high strength contact adhesive you know that's probably a bit of overkill really for holding up some insulation you know if i was holding up the ceiling panels maybe because that is you know that is the never that never yeah it's unbreakable but what I've opted for instead is using double-sided, I believe it's for sticking down carpets, so scotch double-sided tape. It's really sticky, nothing fandangle, easy to use. Um, I've just done one strip. Um, and it's, yeah, it's up there. I can pull it off, but I don't want to pull it off, but let's... It's up there. So I've cut uh, number three strips there for one, two, three. So what I'm going to do now is lay out with tape um, and stick them on. I'll try and capture what I can on film. Uh, what I'll do in a minute is it will flick to Muzika. I might, yeah, and I'll probably fast forward it. And I'll get a good camera angle. Hopefully. So we go to music in a second.
back to slow time now. There you go, guys. Let's know. Um, there's no exact science in it. Is it millimeter perfect up to the edges? No. Is it five millimeter perfect up to the edges? Not on this one. It's uh, it's just getting it up. Whether that does anything, who knows? You know, ultimately, this roof has got a big load of fiber, well, a very thin layer of fiberglass, about 15 millimeters of core, and then a really thick load of fiberglass on top of that, and a really thick load of gel coat. So, is this little bit of bubble wrap going to do anything? Probably not. This roof might have more of an effect. Um, but I think I'm going to be losing more for the windows than I am up here. But it's what's recommended. It's what people do in their boats. So I'm doing it. Um, call me a sheep, whatever. Oh, point right up there. Call me a sheep, but I'm doing it. I'm going to insulate her. Again, I'm not sure if it actually do anything, but I'm doing. I'm doing my bit. I'll do what I can do. So I'm just going to finish taping pressing cutting some more and a bit more and a bit more when i'm done i'll tune back in and uh show you how it looks don't expect to be impressed it's just it's going up however it goes up um it's better than what it had which is nothing before so i'll speak to you in a bit hey guys i run out of tape ah and I'm pretty sure I got this in B and Q in Bogner. I'm pretty sure Wicks don't sell Scotch stuff, but I suppose double sided is double sided. So I'll have a look in there tomorrow morning. It's now half past seven. I need to get Sam in Haven at eight. So I'm gonna have a quick shower. And uh yeah, I'll carry on tomorrow. But for a quick half hour, not too shabby. Um, one thing, one I filmed, the first few, they were like pre-cut panels where I sort of measured it out loosely and the edges aren't great. So the next couple that I've done off camera, handily, I've put, I've put the whole bit of, I've put the, the tape in, then put pretty much the whole panel up, stuck it down, then trimmed down the edges, which makes it a lot better, snugger fit. Again, not that I'm overly concerned with uh, the way this roof is. But when it comes to me doing that one, I will be a bit more precise, I think. Plus I've had a chance to practice here. So uh, tomorrow, get this one in. Um, actually saying that, the Scotch thing, I could go to Bogdan tomorrow because my uh, the roof, ceiling panels that need cutting down and trimming to fit obviously now that i've cut an area of, of the roof out um they're sat in my garage in bogner in the roof the roof's in the roof so yeah i haven't got the kids this weekend i've got them the following weekend so i've got a fair bit of time so i'm, I'm trying not to have too much stuff on the boat because when the kids come down it's a nightmare to try and tidy everything away like at the minute the the heads is just stacked up with paints and everything and i've got so many tools i've got so much stuff here i need i need to have a big big sort out um yeah obviously i've still got to do the finishing up here i need to get all that get all that painted the worst case scenario if i got the panels fitted and it, they come flush to here you know, and I'm still working up here, painting, etc. I could just put a mop, bit of masking tape just to protect them while I'm while I'm messing around. But hopefully tomorrow, I can sand this down, put a nice radius on on the top there, uh, and maybe well, it depends how it looks. I don't think I'll get away with what's there now. I think it will need fairing to get a nice smooth finish. But I'll see what I can achieve tomorrow. Um, and then go from there. Hopefully, it won't take too much. I mean, that's quite. A, I don't want to touch it because oh, that's dry now. I mean, that might even come down flat. I might be able to get away with just that. Hmm. Yeah, some low bits here. So I will. I'll grind all this flat and then I fair it nice. Then do the uh, epoxy primers 
2k it, all that good stuff. <laughs> this one looks a lot better, but even still, to get the imperfections out once I've once I've sanded it all down and everything, I'll um I will fair it up just to get any low spots. But technically, tomorrow evening, if not over the weekend, she be able to get this painted. I need to fill this in. Ah, I might do it now. No, I haven't got time. I need to go and get Sam. Hmm, have I got time? Have I got time? Yes, I have. Right, I'm going to go a quick five minutes. Um, and I'm going to just put some masking tape or tape something up on there. And then chuck some thick and epoxy in there. No, I'm not. No, that's sad. That's sad. There's always tomorrow. Always tomorrow. I need to, I need to get the foam. I need to do everything in here. There's no big rush to to get this done. But I probably will get the ceiling panels tomorrow, so I can start cutting them, trimming them down, making me feel that a little bit closer to having a, an inside area rather than a a building site. So that just looks that just looks horrible, doesn't it? And that's my alarm going off to get Sam. Bye. That's probably more than enough footage I've got there from today's activities. Um, so I'll call it a day there. I'm going to say I'm going to have a shower and, and get my girlfriend. And I'll speak to you later. Have a, a, a massive... Let's edit this out a little bit. And then start again sort of from now. Uh, a massive thank you to my patron, Blue Dog Oz. And the guys buying me coffees. And on the, the link to the Amazon wish list down below. Uh, I've got a few little bits and pieces on there for lights and stuff around the boat that are just, just help. Um, yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, I'll see any questions, anything I can I can help with. Hit on the, the comments down below. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button. It's a free way to, to support me doing what I'm doing. Um, yeah, have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers.